This over here is the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro Gen 7 with the Intel 12th Gen processor. This was one of the most popular gaming laptops from last year, 2021, but now 2022, we have the big Intel 12th Gen upgrade. I'm not bothered about the gaming features like at all. Me as a creator, what I want to know is how good is this gaming a laptop now because now we have the i7 and a dedicated nvidia graphics there as well so then let's have a look artgrid is an online stock footage platform that offers the highest quality stock video from hd to 8k prores log and raw formats active subscription provides you access to unlimited downloads and a royalty free worldwide license the license doesn't expire even when the subscription has been cancelled artgrid catalog is updated daily and the subscription can be configured to fit your needs get two months for free when joining artgrid through the links in the description below Hello. So the laptop we have the other box inside here that is a not a uk plug over here and this looks actually brand new hmm. okay looks like this has come straight from the us but it's just a catalog so we can use our own i mean this is a big big chungus of a power brick and um, how much you might be asking well it's 300 watt power brick that's um that's quite a big big fella over here okay and then now the laptop Ooh, would you look at that i think i am actually the first person unboxing this because this is absolutely free of fingerprints so on here we have legion kind of very minimalistic design still and i like that I, honestly any of these big gamer designs and shapes i'd say creator you know approved design we've got some exhausts on the back of the pc there obviously grill on the bottom and there as well for intakes and then i think exhaust from the sides and the back so when looking at the ports on the left side we have one thunderbolt four port and then one USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. So this is 10 gigabits in speed, but still display pass through as well, which is interesting. On the right side here, a USB type A uh, Gen 1 port, 3.2 Gen 1, which is five gigabits in speed. We have a headphone and mic combo jack in here. And then uh, like a physical switch for the camera on and off which is pretty interesting as well. On the back of the laptop, we have the DC in port here, 300 watts goes in here. Then this USB type A port here is an always on type A port and then a normal type A port. They're both of them are USB 3.2 gen one ports so of five gigabits in speed. We have HDMI port, interesting, I'm looking at the specs over there. It says HDMI, is it HDMI 2.0, 2.1? Uh, I bet this is 2.0, I don't know. Anyway, and then we have another USB type C. So this is 10 gigabits in speed, power delivery, and also a display port 1.4 compatible as well. We do have an RJ45 for ethernet, but here it just says RJ45. So I don't know if this is gigabyte or 2.5 gig. I bet this is 2.5 gig. Now on the bottom of the laptop, uh, we have some rubber pads to kind of, you know, keep it a little bit away from the desk and then also not sliding on the desk and then a big intake on the bottom over there. We're gonna open this up in a moment, so we'll see what's inside but let's uh, do the first review okay so we have the laptop interestingly the screen only goes back this much it doesn't go any any further back and then would you look at that i7 geforce rtx um and then let's turn this laptop on here let's see what happens so the trackpad is slightly towards the left let's have a look at the screen flex there is a little bit um not too bad but because of the larger screen it's hard to uh, kind of keep that going i think the battery is completely dead it's not turning on at all so we'll have to charge that we do have a full-size keyboard and then a numpad on the right side as well which i'm a big fan of this is very very helpful especially for creators if you are a creator i'm using all of these shortcuts and the more keys you have on your keyboard you can just map them in your editing software for different shortcuts which just helps your workflow and i'm a big 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 fan of this so my version over here comes with the 12700 h and an rtx 3060 combo which i think is quite a good combo in terms of the midi ground and if you look at the price of this it's absolutely fantastic price for this check out the latest pricing in the description 
description below but i believe it should come around 1600 dollars or something like that i'm looking at this is 1599 at the moment there for the performance you're getting quite impressive as well you can get uh, processors of up to i9 12900h in here so ridiculous processors obviously and for the gpu you can get up to rtx 3070 ti but this one over here is the 3060 the battery is 80 watt hour battery we have a 720p camera we don't have any fingerprint readers but what i want to know is mostly what can you upgrade and what's inside the laptop probably the most exciting thing about laptop uh, reviews i love taking them apart and seeing what is actually inside Okay, I got it open. It's a bit of a tricky one because um, there's like a few parts on this back panel that actually come off as well. I'm gonna do a full tear down like in another video how to actually get it open, but it's a little bit tricky. Then what we have over here is like this black cover and then we have two more covers over here. Let me open these so you can see what's going on. You take the three screws off on the right side here and then you open this up and then interestingly, look at this. We've got um, a thermal pad and like a little metal cover in there for this SSD or M.2 in there. And then if we're gonna do the same on the right side, this screw here and then this over there we can take this one off as well. As you can see, there's a thermal pad in there as well for just a little bit of an extra heatsink, which is actually very interesting because this heatsink actually covers, covers, goes over this thermal pad as well. So I bet it's gonna get some kind of cooling in there. It's not like a thermal pad in there to actually put heat to this heat pipe there as well, but I guess it does work taking some of the heat out. So I'm looking at the SSD over there and um, it says it's like a model number uh, MZ, VL21T00 uh, uh, and it's very similar to the Samsung 980 Pro. I don't know if what's the difference there. Well, read is 7,000 megabytes per second and write is 5.1 gigabytes per second. So there's the both the same in here, one terabyte and one terabyte. But what we can know about this is that both of these um, are gen 4 you know slots then we have a wi-fi model here as well this is a uh, wi-fi 6e and bluetooth 5.2 as well so if you take this little cover off here underneath oh, interesting there's no um actual thermal pads in here it just protects them from getting anything else you know to these uh, ram sticks in here these are the sk hynix in here ddr5 8 gigabytes 4800 megahertz and you can easily swap them out in here as you can see ddr5 now the interesting thing about this mod, uh, this laptop is that you can upgrade the ram which is a huge thing so whatever configuration you get just get the cheapest configuration to get the lowest amount of ram in there and then you can upgrade the ram interestingly it only supports 32 gigabytes up to 32 gigabytes not 64 i'm curious if you had a 64 gigabyte you know kit in here like 32 gigabytes 32 gigabytes what's going to happen i don't know why it shouldn't support that but on the specs it says it shouldn't now looking at the cooling in here as well what can we see we can see one two three four heat pipes obviously these two are big chungus heat pipes on here that go all the way around as you can see one here and one here this one is a long one and then this one is a shorter one there and then there's another shorter one that goes over here i think this goes over the chipset in there i think these here are vapor chambers as well so pretty interesting cooling i'm interested to check this out how this is gonna Form. But I'm super happy to see upgradable M.2 SSDs, Wi-Fi card and RAM. It just makes the laptop much more appealing, especially at the price point. If you want to know the benchmarks and the experience for creators about this laptop, then stay tuned for that video. It's going to come out very, very soon. If you want me to check out particular things about this or test some creator things about this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious to check this out. Thanks guys for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.